A shipwreck is usually a tragedy, but nature doesn't see it that way. When the Uasate Liberty was torpedoed in 1942, it didn't die immediately. It sat rusting on a beach in Bali for 21 years. It took the volcanic eruption of Mount Agung in 1963 to finally push it into the ocean. But the moment still hits salt water, the clock starts. This is not rot, it is electrochemical execution. Seawater acts as an electrolyte. The chloride ions attack the iron, stripping electrons and forming iron oxide. But as the metal fails, the reclamation begins. The hard structure attracts larvae that cannot settle on sand. The ship becomes a hard substrate anomaly in a soft bottom desert. First comes the algae, then the sponges, and finally the hard corals. By running a tiny current through the steel, we flip the chemistry. Instead of rusting, the metal acts like a magnet, pulling limestone from the water to build a rock-hard coating. This isn't just rust protection, it is hypergrowth. Corals on these electrified reefs grow three to four times faster than in the wild. The USAT Liberty is now a biological high-rise. The steel is just a temporary scaffolding for a calcium carbonate fortress that will outlast human civilization. Nature doesn't mourn our wreckage, it just claims it.